Hello everyone and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I am still in beautiful Bali and I wanted to share something with you about catching our breath when we are hiking or walking or playing tennis or doing any kind of sport and of course for any respiratory project as well. But this is very um, from today because this morning we went to Batur the volcano at, at the volcano at uh, we had to get up at two o'clock in the morning had to leave at three o'clock and we walked all the way up to the top of the mountain and so there were a couple of people who really had a hard time breathing and so I asked if I could help them and they said yes they were very grateful uh, they were panting and just had a really hard time getting up that mountain so the first hold that um, I showed the person herself was making the mudra with the thumb over the ring fingernails, just like this. And she was also holding sticks. We had to use sticks to walk up the sand with the stones of the volcano, the lava. So um, she was able to hold her sticks and this mudra at the same time. So however you can do it, do it uh, when you put your hands in your pockets or however you can do it. This is a very powerful mudra for breathing because the ring finger harmonizes the lungs. And so um, placing your thumb over the ring finger nail really opens up the lungs because we place our thumb over the nail because there's many pores in the nails. And so the energy really, really um, can come forth when we practice like this. So that's the first hold I shared. And then she could do that herself, which was very non-invasive. She doesn't know anything about the art of Jinshin. So um, she was totally open because she was really, really struggling. So then at the next stop we had, we um, she was panting a, a, a lot again, but a little bit less. She said, I've been holding this and I'm doing okay. So I asked her if I could you know do a hold on her and she said yes please do so i checked her 20 tooth right here and they were very very full so i went into the tighter side just like this um, again when something is tight it means that maybe there's a fullness there or maybe it's a little bit tender you can check right now on yourself what it feels like and so hers were really full here. I couldn't even feel her clavicle, this bone right here, her collarbone. I couldn't even feel it. So I really stayed there till it started to open up. We had a couple of minutes while people were taking, were taking some water. And so I had a couple of minutes to really um, get in there. And when there is a situation that it's a bit acute, you can go in a little bit deeper. I didn't go in very lightly and just waited for the pulse because we only had a couple of minutes so I really dug in a little bit deeper again there's no forcing or pressing really hard but to find the location and then allowing your fingers to go a little bit deeper as the safety energy locations come to the surface and that's exactly how it works so for this first stop I just held these and I went on top little bit above the collarbone also and then clearing the collarbone and then right underneath and it was very interesting because the locations really started to open up and this fullness just disappeared very quickly and she was able to breathe fully exhale and inhale so we continued our walk and it was very steep uphill um, and she was doing a little bit better but she wasn't struggling as much and but the next stop I went up to her and I asked if I could assist again give her some gentian and she said yes please it's really helpful and I'm doing so much better look at me I'm not even panting right now so I decided to check her thoracics and thoracic number one uh, is really great for the lungs, but also thoracic vertebrae number three. So um, let me see if I can show you. Thoracic vertebrae number three is right here. The big bump is number one, and so you can count one, two, three. And she had a big bump right here on her three. So I held that, 
and then with the other hand I placed it right at her sternum which of course also harmonizes and opens up the lungs um, at the middle of the sternum at the third rib is of course where the top of the lungs are located and so any for any lung project between the breasts is very very helpful so that was very tender on her on uh, her t3 and like i said she had this bump there which also indicates that maybe she has a potential to have lung projects you know it's never like always somebody with a bump doesn't necessarily have lung projects but they may and they may be more um you know sensitive to it in situations like this so this was also really really dynamic and effective for her to hold t3 and sternum so i'm inviting you all to practice along right now and just take a few breaths here um, of course the thymus plant is located right right here so this is also a great hold for the immune system and so you know you can move your fingers up a little bit i'm on t3 now but if you just move up a little bit to t1 check that so you can really check one two and three and of course t3 is located at the level of safety energy location three which is located right here at the top of the shoulder and i spent some time there too and um the threes are very important for the exhale and the inhale it's like a door it's like a revolving door allowing for the exhale and then the inhale so then i moved over a little bit closer onto her safety energy location 13 so i went off the spine i went to the 13 so i was holding three and 13 and again that was very very effective for her as well so she was very excited and she said wow look everybody this is amazing i'm not panting at all i can breathe fine and yes so i really inspire everybody to use the art of junction also in acute situations just get your hands on with whatever you know and if you are watching my videos then I'm sure there's a lot of information you have. And so I really uh, would like to inspire you to and invite you to use them. Use them on your friends and your family when you see an opportunity. And most importantly, of course, on yourself. So let's end this practice by holding a little mudra, which is also great for the um, lungs. And I'm going to choose holding this one so placing your thumb over your little finger and your ring finger part of your middle finger like this so it's like this also helping the lungs and just a quick review we have this mudra we had the 22s so this is all for breathing then we had t3 moving up to t1 the middle of the sternum and then safety energy location 3 and 13 and of course you can practice both sides so again hello from the beautiful bali and i will tune in with you again if you like the videos please subscribe to the channel like the video share with a loved one and practice the art of junshin thank you so much for joining